Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro here. And today's our a tutorial about summer note and the toolbars across the top and how you can remove some of those uh, button features. Uh, maybe you don't want people to insert an image or a video, or maybe you don't want them to be able to adjust the fonts or something like that. So you could just remove those styling buttons from there. And uh, let, let me just hop in, we'll get started. And so you see these buttons across the top here. Let me take my ugly mug out of the uh, thing. So we see these buttons across the top here. Well, what if I wanted to remove the style button? Like when somebody maybe want to remove this. So, uh, you know, this button right here. If we highlight this, select header and header one, maybe we don't want the people to be able to do that. Uh, so how, how would I do that? Well, let me just go ahead and I'll make a little edit on my editor here. And I'm going to refresh. And notice this, this uh, style button after I hit refresh. You see how it disappears? And then let me go ahead and put it back in there. This is a, this is a real easy thing to do. Let me hit refresh. Oops, sorry. Saved on the wrong thing. And that, now we see that it's back in there. Now what about... Uh, bold italic or UI maybe maybe we want to remove that button from there let me show you boom it's removed from there maybe we want to put it back in so hit refresh so how, how are we doing this well let me go ahead and show you how we're doing this um, I have I have right here the examples of we're going to create an index.php and a save.php just like we did last time so I could show you guys how to do this and uh, this is going to be our example this summer note example if we right click and view page source you can see that nothing is in here right now so what we want to do is we want to bring in our scripts so uh, I'm Unlike yesterday, I'm just going to copy and paste them in. If you need to get a refresher on what these scripts do, this is this is just basically what makes everything work in there. Okay, and we have a, a new one here that I added, Font Awesome, so that if you ever wanted to add like uh, you know icons and stuff to it. So right here we're at the start of our, our body tag, and right in here we're just going to throw in our form. Let me go ahead and throw that form in there. And you know what? For now, we'll just close out the body tag. And we'll close out the HTML. Just like so. And if I hit save and come on over to here and we'll hit refresh, we see we get a save button. And you see here, I have the, the div ID of editor uh, and the save button in there, just like we have in the code. But uh, we haven't you put in our script to include the, uh, the summer note, right? But let me just go ahead and show you this little script that I created that gives you the custom buttons. And I'm just going to copy and paste it in here for you, and we'll go over it. So let me get rid of some of these unnecessary spaces. Hit save. Now, right here... We have our div ID of editor and then our div ID on the button called save button, just like yesterday. And we start our script tag and on the uh, document ready function, we set a variable called custom buttons. And here's our style buttons, our font bu buttons, paragraph buttons, our insert link picture and video table buttons and then our view fuel sc screen or, or co code view okay uh, so we set that as our variable for our custom buttons then we target editor which is the div id of editor up here which is our summer note and then we define toolbar that we want to use custom buttons and of course here's how we set the height now we could set the height at, at 200 and I'll go ahead and save that. 
And here's our uh, save button on the click function. We're going to take all the content from the editor that's in Summer Note, and we're going to grab that code, and then we're going to use Ajax to post it to save.php. Okay, we haven't created our save yet, but it's the same as yesterday. The post type uh, is going to be post, and then the data, we're going to send the content from this variable right here, and then we're going to put a, a function, a response function out to the console log. The response is going to be success or, you know, not successful. But let's just go ahead, since I changed that height to 200 from 300, let's go ahead and see what that looks like right here in our summer note. Hit F5, and you can see that it's not as tall as it was before. If I change that back to 300, you'll be able to see the difference plainly on the uh, site. See how it goes down 100 more? But now, how do I remove this style thing like we, we did before? Well, if you go up here to your custom functions, all you have to do is highlight this entire line to that comma, okay? Highlight that entire line, take it out, hit save, and watch what happens to the style button. Refresh, it disappears. Now, what if you just wanted to uh, remove... Uh, Let's, let's go ahead and hit Control z and undo the style. But let's say that you just wanted to remove the ability for them to include a video. Okay? So let's, let's hit Refresh here. F5. And here's the Video button, right? Let's say you want them to be able to put in a link. They want to, you want them to be able to put in an image, but you want to remove the video. Well, you wouldn't remove this entire line because you still want to have the insert, but all you have to do is take this video up to the comma, take it out, hit save, and now notice what will happen. See, now the option to add a video is gone. Maybe you didn't want them to be able to add a picture. How would you do that? Well, all you would have to do is take this little picture thing out, and so that only link is available there. And let's go ahead and hit refresh. And now the ability to add an image is gone. Well, not the ability, but the, the button. They could still go to code view and then put, you know, uh, IMG SRC equals and then whatever that would be and go like that. And let's go back to the view. And you could see uh, they could still you could still be able to add an image if they want to hard code it. So let's say that you wanted to take the ability uh, for them not to see the code view out. Well, how would you do that? Well, down here under view, you would just take this code view out like so, save it, and then refresh it. F5. Now they could still go full screen, but the code view is missing. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial because you want to be able to uh, style your custom buttons. In, in, in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own custom button because that's kind of cool. Maybe you'll have uh, a thing where where you want to be able to add your own functionality, but you have to add the button and then you, ha then you have to add a function to make that button work. So we'll be discussing that in a future tutorial. I've got some more su cool summer note tricks coming up, uh, styling summer note, putting in a dark mode, teal mode, or, or however you like. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.